All right, man, let's talk about uh, Canelo Alvarez. He says he wants Jamal Char- Jamel Charlo. I mean, Jamal, I guess he said he wants Jamal Charlo. B1 better BF next. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, the like, comment button, share the video. I guess he was on he was on the uh Brian Custer last thing podcast. Um it was it was taped after the Wilder Fury fight, so that's a good thing. He had some uh, comments on that. That video should already be uploaded by the time you see this video. But hey, uh, make sure you guys thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. My social media links in the description. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe. Please, please, please hit the bell icon on notifications right next to the subscribe button to the right of the subscribe button. And um, here you go. Tell me when to go. Go dumb dumb. Jesus Chris had dreads, so shake up. I don't know, plant it on grow us up. E40 was unique. So it says Canelo talks plant, wants to fight Charlo, and better be at okay. Let's see if we get some quotes in this thing. He said, I mean, he said. Uh, undisputed means a lot to Canelo Alvarez. Said it means a lot to my legacy. The fight is very important uh, to us, for me, for my Mexican fans, for my team, because I'm going to be the first Mexican Latin American fighter to be undisputed champion. Said Canelo Alvarez at Last Stand podcast. And um, man, I can't like really dispute that. And he he, he right. He said for me it's very oh, excuse me. Okay. He says, for me, it's very important because I want to make history. I'm going, uh, I'm doing it my history, and other fighters do their history. I don't want to compare myself to other fighters, say Canelo and Axe, if a win for him, uh, for him to make him the greatest fighter in history. Well, I just want to be me, Canelo, the Canelo history, and everybody has had their own history. Uh, quote, no, it just, I just took my, I just took them off sunglasses because. I wanted to see the eye, said Canelo, when asked him why he took a sunglass off during the face-off with Canelo, with Caleb Plant, excuse me, during the Los Angeles press conference last September. He didn't take his glasses off, so it doesn't matter, said Canelo. When I pushed him, I just uh, see see he's coming. He's going to throw or do something, so that's why uh, that's why I quote, no, no one thing that bothered me was when he said, Mother Effa, Mother Effa for us, it means a lot for Mexicans. It means a lot. That's why, for me, he crossed the line. That's why I pushed him. But you you call the other people mother effers, though. That's my problem, though. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so he says, breaking plan jaws to go. Okay. He mad. I don't care about that. He says, I've, Canelo Alvarez with the best fights of the plant. We're going to rest a little bit. Then we're going to see. I want to do the best fights out there. No, not really, said Canelo when asked if there's someone in particular in boxing that he wants to fight. Quote, I just want the fight, the fights that the people want and make history. That's all that I want. So we'll see, uh, see after the fight. I like to be active. I love fighting a lot. I want uh, to fight three times a year, four times a year. For me, it's good. I don't really show, uh, really know when Canelo asks, uh, who he wants to fight on Showtime or, and work with Premier Box Champion and Fighter in the future. He said, Quad, I just want to have a relationship with all the promotion, do the best fights out there. If I need to fight on Showtime with PBC, I'm good. If I need to fight on the zone with Eddie Hearn, I'm good. I just want to do the best fights out there. A great fight Canelo said about last. Uh, okay, we already know he said that. Um, okay. So he said, open the fight better be at Spence and uh, Spence. I thought he said Charlo too. He said he doesn't know how he, how to move his head. Okay, we read that. Dude. He said, we'll, okay. he said, we'll see. Cano said, I told about Jake Paul wants to fight him another year. Uh, no, he's a horrible fighter. I never want to fight him. Cano said, when asked to potentially fight Demetri Zondrade in one of these days, if he's not fought with anybody. But look, <laughs> check this out, bro. He said, he ain't fought nobody. But we'll see, said Canelo, told about Jake Paul wants to fight him. Come on. He opened a fight in Jake Paul, but he not open a fight Demetrius Zandra. Like I said before, man, he ain't about giving the fans what they want to see. But come on. He said, we don't know in boxing. You never know. But we'll see, Canelo said, upon being asked his thoughts about facing IBF WC champion Earl Smith Jr. He's a great fighter. He wants to come 
to my weight class 168. If not, if not, I'm okay. He's a great fighter. We'll see. He said, yes, well, not Canelo asked about uh about whether he he would like to return to 175 division. He probably better be Evan Beaver. We'll see if Canelo goes to him. He says, Charlo on his target list. He said seven more years, Canelo said, and asked well, how much longer he'll fight before he retires. I learned every fight. I learned every single fight. So Mayweather, Kodo, Golovkin, Jacobs, every fight. Uh, for me, his experience, and I learned a lot. Like I said, I represent Mexico, and that's why I don't like to fight with Mexican fighters anymore. But when you need to fight some with somebody, why not say Canelo when asked about he's interested in fighting to former two-time WC middleweight champion, super middleweight champion David Benavidez. One of them, Canelo said, when asked to become an undisputed 68 champion, will be the greatest achievement in his career. Great fighter, Canelo said. Uh, great fighter, Canelo said about Canelo and Caleb Plant upon being asked who upset him more, Plant or Demetrius Andrade. Uh, okay. Charlo said, Canelo asked, who is the more realistic uh, for him to fight next, Benavidez Jamar, uh, or Jamal Charlo? Canelo said, when asked if he if he's the best fighter on the planet right now, better than Usyk, Terence Crawford, and Fury. Who cares? We, I guess we're not gonna get to that Charlo quote. He said, I'm for, he said either Charlo agrees to go to 68 or we won't fight with uh, we won't fight with Canelo. It's simple as that. It's why unlikely Canelo will face Charlo. Unfortunately, Jamal seems more focused on 160. 160. So he said he seems to think Canelo will come back down to 60. So um, I, I guess not. It's not going to happen. I don't, I'm kind of confused by these quotes they did. So he said, Charlo asked Canelo when he uh, asks is more real safety. So I guess they're not going to fight. I don't really care. I don't really care, man. The things I heard about Kayla Plant, you don't have any interest in that. I'll be watching Uzman on the big screen. And I'll be watching. Uh, I'll be watching um, that on my phone or something like that, man. But yeah, man. I mean, like I said before, man, a good fighter, um, but doesn't want to challenge himself. Caleb Plant, like I said before, man, he should have fought Benavidez. He should fight Benavidez, bro. You know, because if Benavidez had that WBC belt, man, he wouldn't have fought. He wouldn't have met. He wouldn't have fought. He wouldn't have fought. I'm being honest, and everybody know it, man. You know, I think he had killed Charlo. He had beat he had beat he had beat Charlo down. So I mean <clears throat> but Kayla Plant, man, come on, Kayla Plant is a sacrificial lamb. Um he's a sacrificial lamb to help, you know, PBC establish a relationship with Canelo because they in trouble, trouble. So I mean it's G, it's G, but uh, I mean, you know. I don't see where he said too much to fight about better be Evan. Uh, I don't know. I ain't see no quote about him saying he wanted to fight better be Ev. He said, "Oh, he said he wanted more." Yeah, he did. He said it right here already. So, I mean, honestly, man, I don't care, man, who he fight. There had there's no intrigue on who Canelo fights these days. So I I really don't care. I don't care. It's like him fighting a punching bag. Canelo couldn't wasn't hurting people at 154 for real or 155 for real. But he go all the way up to a 168 pounds. He's stopping people. I mean, like I said before, these these dudes know that they can't beat Canelo, right? They know they can't beat Canelo. And they just going in for a check. He, he got a great jaw. When Canelo really got knocked on his jaw other than uh Miguel Cotto brother, Jose Cotto. Wait, I mean, come on, when you seen somebody really hit Canelo? Anytime they get in there with Canelo, man, they act like they forget how to punch. And I don't think no, that's no coincidence. Every time they get in there, they start throwing noodle punches. And don't forget this man, Doug Derbachenko, man. They, come on. That man said, no, no months, no months, no Chenko. He ducks he duck every day for Chenko. I don't blame him. But shit, it is what it is. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. You got a business question, inquiry, response, video request. All my social media links there. I want to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the box news playlist. Let me know what you guys think. You think he, I mean, you ain't gonna do nothing with Drain B and Brad or BF anyway, so I'm not really concerned about them fights. But hey, let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.